my beautiful favorite flower, violet, or viola tricolor, also viola odorata, and viola spp. The common Johnny jump up and harsies, purple with heart-shaped leaves, are the two violets more commonly used medicinally. Drying destroys the pleasant aromas and flavors of violets, so use a fresh. Syrups will preserve the flower for quite some time, however. Violet syrup will chase a cough away while pampering your taste buds. Fresh violet greens have a peppery taste that leaves otherwise dull solids and dishes. A high-end nutritive plant, violet is a common ingredient in most spring tonics. Walnut, black or white, or butternut, also called juglans nigra or juglans cinerea. Working with walnut is an exercise in patience and, and forethought. The husk, superb against parasites, fungal infection, and skin diseases, will leave your fingers stained brown for months. The nuts contain essential fatty acids, rebuild cellular strength and are traditionally used to treat eczema internally. They are also notoriously difficult to crack. Also, look at the shape of the walnut. Don't they look like a brain? It is actually very well known that this also aid is one of the brain foods. Peeling the bark always is frustrating but the bark is one of the few effective laxatives that is safe to use in pregnancy. Only the leaves are easy to gather, if you can reach them. But no matter, walnut's reliability in treating these conditions makes it worth the effort. White Pine or Pinus strobus. White Pine is the first aid station wrap up in a tree. The sap makes an airtight antiseptic and pain relieving bandage. I use it for all manner of burns, scrapes, and wounds. Cover with a tissue to t stop the sap from sticking. Fishermen always apply warm sap to stubborn splinters to draw them out painlessly. Some people have a skin sensitivity to pine sap, so make sure you test it on a small patch of healthy skin for a possible reaction before applying to a white area. The needles are a year-round source of vitamin C and A. They excel at breaking up congestion. Use as a tea, a steam pot, cough drops, or chest compress. The green bark makes a good spleen for brains, lending both support and pain relief.